What's going on, everybody? Welcome inside fitnessinformant.com, Fitness Informant's YouTube channel. I'm FI founder and CEO, Ryan Buckeye. I want to thank you for stopping by to check out our 100% honest, no bullshit review of Granite Supplements Premium Pre-Workout Product. Today, we're going to talk about John Meadows Premium Pre-Workout on five different categories. First, we're going to talk about the ingredient profile. Second, we're going to talk about the effectiveness. Third, we're going to talk about flavor, which is watermelon. Fourth, mixability, as well as show you mixability test here on camera. And then finally, we're going to talk about value on this product. So let's dive into the ingredient profile on this product. We start out with L-citrulline at four grams. So citrulline is the precursor to arginine. Arginine increases nitric oxide. Nitric oxide obviously increases blood flow. We like to see citrulline dose between three and five grams. So we get four full grams of citrulline, which would be sufficient by itself. But the brand also decides to toss in an additional two grams of citrulline malate. Now, we don't know the bonded ratio, if it's one to one, two to one, but we do know that we're getting at least another gram of citrulline, which will top us off at that five gram mark of citrulline, as well as adding in malic acid, which can help overall increase overall performance. We also get the ultra pure creamy, premium creatine monohydrate, which is creapure at three grams. Now, you're traditionally not gonna find a full five gram dosage of creatine in a pre-workout. Typically when you find creatine in a pre-workout, is it's slightly in there for the strength output, but also it helps with the overall pumps. So I like taking creatine pre-workout if it's not in the, in the, in the pre-workout powder to help with pumps and water retention in the muscles. It's a solid ingredient, it's a proven ingredient, so I like the usage of the three grams of creatine monohydrate in the pre-workout. Betaine and hydros at two grams. We like to see betaine used between 1.5 and 2.5 grams. Helps with strength and hour, uh, strength and power output. Can also help with muscle recovery as well. So two grams of betaine and hydros is solid. Carnosine beta alanine at 1800 milligrams. Now beta alanine is something we don't get crazy about here at FI because it's meant to be a daily ingredient. Very similar to creatine monohydrate. Carnosine, the makers of the beta alanine used in this product, says you should be taking 3.2 to 6.4 grams of beta alanine per day. So Granite Supplements is using 1.8 grams. Not saying it's not good, it's not efficient, but it's not what the makers of that particular ingredient want you to use at 3.2. So traditionally, we would say that's underdosed in terms of beta alanine. Uh, in terms of tyrosine, it uses an adult version of it um, at 650 milligrams. We like to see this at 750 milligrams. 650 is okay. It's gonna help with cognitive improvement, memory improvement, and focus improvement. I'd like to, again, like to see this at 750 milligrams. 650 is not bad. I'm not gonna call it crazily underdosed by any means at all but we'd like to see it just a little bit more. Then we have 500 milligrams of lion's mane powder, which lion's mane is not the actual hair from a lion's mane. It's actually a mushroom, which is nootropic. 500 milligrams is a solid dosage. This may be why we only get 650 of tyrosine or nult in it instead of the 750. Lion's mane is a great ingredient, which helps improve focus, mental clarity in the gym. We get teacrine at 250 milligrams at 40%, so you're gonna need 100 grams of teacrine mixed with 250 milligrams of caffeine. So you're gonna get caffeine and hydros hitting first, followed by teacrine, which will taper down the energy, will prevent the crash. Teacrine does not increase heart rate. It's a solid ingredient. It's not considered a stimulant, but it helps, helps prolong, uh, prolong your energy uh, as well. Then you also have theobromine at 60 milligrams. Theobromine does a couple different things. It can help sort of relax the blood vessels for a pump, but it also works really well with caffeine to help that stimulant work better to provide energy. So overall, not a bad profile. A uh, bit of alanine, a little underdose on it. We'd like to see a little bit more in Nalt, but overall, a good profile. It's gonna help with pump, energy, and focus, things that we really look for. And you're gonna have some strength and power output with the beta alanine and the betaine and hydros. In terms of effectiveness, really, it's gonna be an extension here of the profile. You're gonna get really good energy with caffeine and teacrine working well together and the theobromine that works really well together to provide a nice euphoric energy over time without the taper off and crash impact that you get with some products. The lion's mane and the null work really well together with the caffeine to help with the cognitive enhancing or the, the improved clarity and improved focus in the gym. And the two variations that you have citrulline and citrulline malate, which is gonna be solid to have in there, including the theobromine, so you're gonna have a nice, uh, and the creatine, so you're gonna have decent pumps from this product uh, as well. So it is an effective pre-workout, a solid profile, in terms of flavor, we used watermelon. Watermelons are kind of hit or miss with us at FI. It was good, it's your traditional watermelon. Not really, you know, a lot of people don't do much to separate their watermelon from other watermelons in the market. And, and Granite Supplements, watermelon premium, kind of typical to the other watermelons. It wasn't, it wasn't fantastically great, it wasn't bad. It's kind of the middle of the road uh, watermelon. So if you like watermelon, you're gonna like this product, but it's nothing special by any means. In terms of mixability here, you're gonna see on, on cameras, we show you mixability. One serving size is about 17 grams and it wants to mix this in 12 to 16 ounces of water. It's pretty solid mixability. You're gonna have some of the heavier ingredients sort of float to the bottom or stick to the sidewalls of the shaker. You might see some particles here in the actual glass itself. 
not atypical, especially for a pre-workout because it's a heavier, heavier dose pre-workout, you know, in the upper teens, uh, that you're going to have some particles that show up in the glasses we poured out or some particles that are going to stick to the sidewall. So not crazy, uh, not bad in terms of mixability, not fantastic. It's not completely soluble in water, but overall it does a good job. This is a 20 serving container that will retail for right around 48 to $50 online. Um, a little bit higher price tag on this pre-workout. It is a premium, pun intended, uh, pre-workout. I'd say it's still just a tad too high, but I mean, it's still kind of in line with some of the competitors. So we typically see 20 servings now about 45 to 50 bucks. That's where this falls in line. There's nothing too crazy about the formula. We do like the addition of lion's mane. It does work well. Tea cream is not necessarily cheap by any means. So is it justifies the price tag? Yeah, I'd say it's justified, but you probably can find other options out there for that price tag. I think if you find this on a sale or you get a discount code, definitely something you should try. John Meadows and Granite Supplements, they make premium stuff, quality stuff. That's not a question at all. This is a good pre-workout. This is that that $48, $50 price tag potentially could be just a little high. Now, again, I'm a huge fan of John Meadows. I think what he's doing is great. I think this is a great product. If you have the money, sure, go ahead and spend it. But if you, you're limited on funds, you might want to look for something that might be just a tad more effective or more of a value for you as a consumer. If you want to purchase this product, look below for a purchase link as well as a coupon code if it exists to save you a few dollars on the product. For more deep dive into the ingredients, look below for that link. They'll take you to fitnessinformer.com to do a deep dive in the ingredients. Make sure you follow us on our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. Subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe now button below. Stay up to date with all new reviews, rankings, news, deals, workout routines, and nutrition plans over at fitnessinformer.com. Make sure you check out our podcast. It's called Be Informed, Live Fit. We're on Spotify, iTunes, right here at YouTube, featuring John Meadows himself. You ready? Let's go.